Hi guys, this is Xuecun from CDTrick.com and today this tutorial is about um, 3D bubbles and uh, 2D bubbles. We're gonna make 3D bubbles in uh, 3ds Max and the 2D bubbles we will um, make them in uh, After Effects. Uh, so now we're in 3ds Max. First of all, let's enlarge this viewport perspective. First of all, we're gonna create a teapot, and uh, we tap two on the keyboard, and we set the position of the teapot to uh, zero, zero, zero. Okay, and uh, now we're gonna put a uh, additive poly onto this teapot. So we click modify, and in the drop-down list of the modify list, we'll select uh, additive poly and select element, and we did it and this <laughs> so now we have a nice cup okay second one I think we need uh, a geosphere that is in the future the shape of our bubbles so we're gonna click this geosphere and uh, we make a very small one here so now you know I have installed Vero Material Process Pro in 3ds Max so we're gonna click this and we select water, liquid. Okay, we're gonna uh, select this alcohol methyl, perhaps. I don't know how to pronounce it. So we choose object and then we assign this material onto the girl's fair. Okay, that's it. So we close this and we're gonna uh, create a cylinder. Here is it, and uh, we're gonna make it also into a editable poly. So we select edit poly, and we select polygon, and we select the upward surface. Okay. So now we're gonna create the PF source. So we click geometry, and in the drop-down menu we select particle systems and uh, we click PF source and drag a particle flow into the viewport and then we're gonna open particle view okay and we're gonna delete the particle precision icon as well as the uh, um, uh, rotation and shape so we select these three guys and uh, we right click our mouse and select delete Okay, uh, now we're gonna put everything we need into this particle flow. So we're gonna drag a um, mm, precision object. We put it here. And uh, we're gonna need a random walk. We put it here. And then we uh, probably need a uh, force. So we drag force here. Mm. And I think we also need a uh, shape instance. Shape instance, aha. Uh -huh. She is here. So now we're gonna adjust the parameters. Render, geometry, okay. And the birth. We set the uh, image stop. We set the frame until uh, uh, 100. And the uh, position object we'll uh, add our cylinder okay the image location we set it to a selected faces that means all the uh, particles will come out from uh, uh, our selected polygon this face okay and then the shape instance we're gonna select the geosphere okay and we set scale to uh, 80 percent and the variation we set it to 50 percent we'll adjust the speed uh, mm, to uh, point 0.5 and the variation we set it to uh, point 0.2 for example um, and now the random walk um, speed 
should be uh, slower. Let's set it to a point three, I think. And the variation, let's set it to a point one. Okay. Ah, viscosity. Um, we set the variation to so. And the force, you have a force here. We're gonna need a uh, some kind of force in our viewport. So we're gonna select this button, space warp, and we drag a wind into the viewport. So, and we set the strength of the wind uh, to zero two, and the decay we set it to 0.5, and the turbulence we set it to one. And then we're gonna drag this below this T port hmm, here, and then we're gonna bind this space warp with the particle flow. Okay, if we click play now, you can see the particles come down from the cylinder it is downward so we are gonna rotate this particle flow so we type P e on the keyboard I will set Y axis to um, 180 okay and now we're gonna select this cylinder and drag this into our keyboard Okay, that's it. So as you can see, our particles come out from this polygon of this cylinder and uh, they go upwards from inside the T-port. And you can see it walks randomly. Okay, and uh, we're gonna create some deflector so in the space warps menu in the drop down menu we select deflector and we're gonna create a uh, p omni flector we set it here and then in the parameters we're gonna pick um this we're gonna pick the teapot and now we're gonna bind our deflector with our pf source also so now as you can see here are our bubbles um so now we still cannot see the bubbles come out uh, uh, directly uh, from this uh, viewport so we're gonna render it you can see the bubbles here come out from inside the teapot so I think we probably need some light so we click light and uh, we select standard and we choose an omni and drag an omni light here and it up and we need another light so we're gonna click target spot and we put it here so we drop down and uh, I think I probably need also a camera so we're gonna select camera and select target spot and uh, we're gonna put it here we drop this up and uh, we're gonna close this and uh, hold out and type W on the keyboard and uh, in the uh, first viewport we're gonna select the camera okay and uh, we're gonna drop this a little bit higher so as you can see very clear I need the teapot to be moving in the scene so 
will uh, do a better comparison uh, between the 2D bubbles and the 3D map bubbles. So we're gonna animate the camera. Okay, and we'll click Auto key and set keys. Request this, and we're gonna drag this here, and then we go to the 50th frame and we drag it here I think we will animate this also so as you can see teapot moves okay we're gonna run this